Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. This is another paid request. This time by Frame by Frame. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it uh, either directly to my PayPal, which is usually the best bet, or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for Infinity Pool. It came out this year. And it's directed by Brandon Cronenberg. Now, I did not mind the film he did called Possessor. Of course, it is the son of David Cronenberg. And you tell this is a film that he's, like the other films he's done, he's trying to invoke a bit of his dad into it. This is one of those films that I get what he was going for. Uh, I do think there's some interesting ideas that are not fully realized. To be perfectly honest, a lot of the time I found it kind of boring. And these reviews are like, oh my god, it's so crazy, it's so disturbing, it's so creepy. I'm like, maybe I've seen way too many movies, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Even compared to like David Cronenberg's films, like Videodrome, you know, this doesn't have anything on that. Now, I start Alexander Starsgard, which I'm not big on the guy. I whether it be the Northman or he was in Godzilla vs. Khan. Not big on him as an actor. I like the dad, Stellan Starsgard, but I'm not a fan of Alexander Starsgard. And his character is very bland and boring. I'm sure that's the point of it. I think one person called it like a cipher to. I'll get to a minute. Pretty much him and his wife, they are enjoying a beach vacation on an island. You know something's a bit off with the movie on purpose because the first dialogue before we see anything, which is it's black and we hear, Honey, why do you say that line? What line? Because the guy's like, wake up, I'm sleeping. You said... You can't feed yourself with white sand brain death. You can't feed yourself with white sand brain death. So, that right there, you kind of already know what kind of movies it's trying to be. So, while they're on their beach vacation, the our lead, Alexander, I forget the character's name, I don't give a shit. I would say. Is Alan, since it's Alexander Sarsgaard, I'll just say Alexander. He is a novelist, but he's got a bit of writer's block. He doesn't know what to do. And so, ultimately, they meet be, be a goth, who is an X and Pearl. And this actress hasn't done much for me. I mean, in this, I thought she was a lot of mudding and over-the-top hysteria at times. It's specifically at one point where... It was like, if you seen the movie, it was like, she's got a gun, like, I thought it was more laughable than anything, but anyway, maybe that's the point, but, yeah, yeah I mean, it is the point, but it just, I thought it was like, more muddy than Jim Carrey. So th things seem to be doing okay, and then ultimately, Mia Goff comes up to the guy, is giving him a hand job. He's not doing anything about it. Ultimately, he does finish, and we see a little bit of cum splash on the ground. I'm like, so, I mean, hell, I saw more in the lighthouse, Sally, with that shit. So you get the idea throughout the film, and that's the first inclination of it, is that Her pleasure is toying with him and making him her toy. That's like the inclination you get throughout the film. So at one point, the group is driving back. He accidentally hits someone and the guy dies. They get arrested. And you're trying to find out on this island, they can clone people. And if you have the money, you can pay 
and get into this notion of you could pay to create a clone who will have your memories and then that clone will be executed and so of course the the wife is horrified and you have to witness execution so the, of course the wife is horrified she wants to leave but the guy is like, oh i lost my passport but he didn't so he could stay it gets pulled into this group of tourism that will do all these vile acts home invasion robbery assault and hey we'll just pay and we'll just buy another clone and they'll be executed and we'll be fine it's the whole notion of if you're able to pay to get away with it what would you be able to do and sort of this infection that comes upon our lead character from these rich monsters like these rich monsters they can do all these horrible acts and have no limits no true punishment like what if rich people could have no true punishment because they just buy their way out is including doing it this way so i guess the the island they're willing to do it because they get finance they get paid for it so maybe it's their income and that's why the island officials go along with it even though one of them clearly says there's not a playground for foreign children, but you're condoning it. You're letting it go on by allowing this to happen. So it is a playground for, for, for rich foreign children. So it is. <laughs> so. And again, our lead guy gets more and more enraptured into this. So I get the idea, and there's some interesting bits to that. That's why I would put it above, like, Bo is Afraid, because I found nothing in that film interesting. And this film's not three hours long, either. I found that one goddamn thing interesting about Bo is Afraid. At least this, some bits of the concept is interesting, but I think there's a lot more you could have done. Because they mentioned at one point, are you sure you're the real you? I mean, you're a not doubt. You never know. Maybe they, maybe the the real you is the one who died. Maybe they switch you out. But then it's completely dropped. Is never really brought up again. I'm like, okay, that could be really interesting. This sort of identity crisis of is that really me? Uh, did I really die? Is it? Am I really a clone? Am I not a clone? Is he being? Is the reason he's changing so much is because he's a clone and there's some deficiencies to cloning where each one they lose a bit more of their humanity they lose a bit more of their soul it really doesn't go into that depth at least to me it doesn't maybe it does for other people but it doesn't for me it's more about how rich fucks get away with shit because they're rich fucks which I mean there's some merit to that as well I just didn't find it as interesting. And it doesn't help that the characters I didn't really find that interesting. Like I said, Alexander Sarsgaard is just kind of a blank slate. And maybe that's the point, is that he's a blank slate that these rich tourists, and especially be a golf, kind of paint their own pictures on this blank slate for whatever they want. And so spoilers, like the stuff that happens is... They wear these creepy masks. They have a home invasion. There's even like a little bit of a shootout that then cuts away. Uh, there's orgies. They get a guy. They're beating and pissing on him. Then they unveil it and it's a version of himself. And he freaks out. Because, like, uh, yeah, whatever. So that means they could pay for a double even before they commit a crime. Like, with the money, they could literally go and say, hey, I want a double of this guy. See, that even that creates more questions of, you just go up and say, I want a double of this guy. 
if you could pay for that, then I'm surprised they didn't go into the notion of since it wants to be also sexual that I'll go to pay for like four versions of my wife. And all four versions of my wife, we're gonna get together a big orgy. Like, I'm surprised they didn't go on those different routes with this type of movie either. Or hell, if that's the case, what if the lead guy, if he really wants to get out, because there's a point where he wants to get out with, uh, on this bus, and Mia Gotham point a gun at the, at the bus, and that's where Mia Goth's like, buddy, hehe, <laughs> ooh, yeah. Come on, baby. And then they chase him, and they shoot at him, and he gets wounded. Part of me is like, okay, if you create a double of this guy to then, I don't know, dump him, beat him up, and piss on him, couldn't the lead, like, I don't know, make doubles of himself and go, let's work together. You know, let's work together, and three of us or four of us, we're going to beat the shit out of him, and we're going to do this and that. And, like, what are the rules of this cloning? What can you do and not do? When can you clone someone and not clone someone? Because if you clone someone to immediately execute them, then how did this group get a double of our lead character to tie up and beat the shit out of him and piss on him to freak out the lead guy when, his, when he puts the bag up? Oh my god, it's me! Like, so what are the rules of what you can and can't do with this clone and stuff? I guess you're not supposed to think about stuff like that. I'm like, okay. And I guess the money's from him, or is it from his wife? Because I thought, like, his wife was the rich family, and then he's, like, a novelist. I mean, how, how much money do you have? Because it seems like by... Well, actually, by the end, he does make a phone call and says, I'm coming home. So I guess they're not separated, divorced at that point. I, I, I guess not, so... You know, what if his money just cut off and he can't buy any more doubles and clones? Then what? But I guess you're not, those are wrong things you're supposed to be thinking of. So after some mayhem and some mudding and, and other stuff, at one point he has a crazy dream that he gets... And it's so flashy, it's hard to tell what's going on. But you get the idea, like... It's this orgy group, and then one that looks like his wife, and he gets torn apart. But again, it's so flashy, you can barely tell what's going on. Maybe that's supposed to symbolize sort of his old self being torn apart to this new monster he's become. The way it ends, spoiler alert, is... He gets confronted again. And yeah, they have another double of the guy. Only this guy is on a leash. So again, it's you can make doubles not just for institutions. Apparently you can make doubles for anything. You can make doubles to beat him up and put him in a bag. You can make doubles to get him naked and on a leash. And also if he... Aren't they supposed to have your memories? So why is this guy acting like a dog? Are you able to tell them, make a clone, but don't have them have the memories, or make a clone while they're in this tomato sauce, because it looks like tomato sauce, and not have any... That's the thing, there's all these possibly interesting ideas. What Can you make a clone with no memories? Can you make a clone with different memories? Can you make a clone with maybe that person's memories? Or if you can make a clone... Can you make them to have zero memories, or all the memories, or a different person's memories, or... I don't know, I just... Pretty much, this guy is on a leash. They want our lead to kill him. Part of me is like, why are you so adamant to do... I guess, again, it's part of Mia Goff's fix in this tourism, is the toy with this guy. 
and maybe that's why the lead guy is so bland and boring is because he's just a a toy for Mia Goff to use no discernible emotions or just easily controlled easily manipulated so this is a fun toy to do and utilize as you and I want you to kill a version of yourself and cross that line he's like I'm not doing it lets the guy go but the guy after like an animal the clone attacks our lead and the lead stabs him kills him oh yes you did it and then he hugs her she offers her titty and she he sucks on the titty so you want to see Alexander Sarsgaard suck on Mia Goff's bloody titty <laughs> so that sounds like a trauma film bloody titties coming soon Lord Coffin presents bloody titties whether that's to symbolize his birth and to being a rich monster like them, like full transformation. And with birth, nursing. I, I don't know, maybe maybe not. I don't fucking know. Cause then it ends with now the tourists are kinda like even me and Goff's kinda back to normal as they're leaving the beach uh, you know vacation, the island. So I guess maybe you get the idea that this is kind of their blowing off steam as they go back to their normal lives. I actually would like to have seen maybe a bits of them in their normal lives to showcase even more of they're just acting normal and nonchalant and busy with work and the show just how different the demeanor is compared to the beach island bits. But... Alexander's going to leave, but he can't leave, and the last bit is him kind of sitting and lying down in the rain at this beach home. Maybe he's trying to clean himself off, cleanse himself, and he realizes he can't. He realizes he can't go home because he can't go back to normal after what's happened. Because not only were you killing, you know, clones of yourself, but innocent people were getting hurt and I mean, you think that inclination would have been the first time an innocent person died when you were around. Not with you killing a version of yourself. You think... That's another thing that made me not really give a shit about the main characters. Like, he, like he does have doubts and stuff, but then he gets so easily manipulated. It's like, oh, this fucking... And which is the point of it, but it's like, you fucking pussy, you fucking asshole. And again, that's the point of it. But it's just like, fuck this lead guy. I don't want to be around him. Fuck this guy. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> I'm still like, fuck this guy. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm watching this, I'm going, I don't really care. There's potential of what I could care about and what's going on, but at the same time, I'm sitting there going, there's certain stuff I wish it did more. <sighs> I don't know how else to put it. Let me see. Sorry, checking on my messages. Sorry about there. But. There's one of those things I'm watching. I'm going. I deal with the director's going for. I didn't think it was as disturbing, as crazy as people made it out to be. I think that was overblown, out of proportions. I'm like, <laughs> I think there's more crazy shit in the Fly remake. With the nightmare scene of the the larva and the the way Jeff Goldblum's tears broke it down and those effects and. Definitely better characters as well. Or hell, Videodrome. I mean, if people had their heads blown from this movie, I could imagine what the hell they'd think when watching Videodrome. Ah, uh, just... I can't... I'm one of those guys that, for the most part, there are exceptions. There are exceptions. But for the most part, I need characters that I'm either engaged with or care about or actors I'm engaged with and care about 
Either I like the actor, I'm interested to see what he or she are doing in the movie, or the character is interesting, or the... And that had neither of that in this movie. The actors I weren't really interested in. I'm not impressed by me or Goth like other people are. I didn't like the X. And as in the I still find very boring of an actor. Again, I prefer his father. And again, these other aspects of the cloning, how that works, how it doesn't work, how we can just buy a clone, if that's the case, should our lead guy then buy a clone of me or Goth? Like, what if this is tit for tat? Like, okay, you don't want to make a clone of me? I'm going to make a clone of you. And this kind of, oh, you don't want to make a clone of me on a leech? I'm going to make a clone of you on uh, Dad and uh, blah, 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 tied up. And I got a clone of me a goth. And are you able to do that? And it's like this back and forth of them making these clones do worse and worse to their own clones than the other clones. Kind of this back and forth one up in each other of what I do to my own clone or I'm gonna do what your clone maybe this one up battle like the only clones they buy is the lead guy like getting extra clones of him can the lead guy get extra clones of me or goth or the other people so I want to give you a taste of your own medicine is he able to do that and the worse he does that, it shows even more of him losing it. Or again, if these clones are only made for executions, how are they able to get them out from the execution? Be like, no, we're... is there a black market type of clones on the island as well as the official ones? <laughs> uh, man, I'm thinking too much about it. I guess more hammering the point of if you're rich, you should pay people off and get away with anything, murder, whatever. And kind of repeat it. Or, that's what I mean. It's like, I think for a bit of it is surface level. I think there's a lot of deeper sequences or motivations you could really dug up to make it more of an interesting movie. I don't know how the hell you keep that secret, too, that this island can create clones. Is it only this... I guess... Just people are shocked about it. So I... How does this island... One island come up with the idea of clones? And how did that all come about? And how the hell does no one ever spill the beans? You think there would be one or two or three people that spill the beans about this? It's like, if you spill the beans, you'll die. If you spill the beans, you'll get killed for real? Or, or what the deal is? Or... I don't know. Do you think these tourists could film all this shit? I gotta clone them myself or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of questions you think about. Well, how did this work? How did that work? So, when I'm asking more questions than them, I guess that means I'm not really that invested into the movie as much as other people were. So, I guess if you want to see Alexander Starstar suck on some bloody titties or... I said, I don't think it was as crazy as people made it out to be. I mean, I've seen... Maybe I've seen too many movies. You know, more violent movies? Go watch Dead Alive or, or some of Peter Jackson's films. Go watch Meet the Feebles. You know, I, mean, I don't think this is crazier than a lot of his dad, David Cronenberg, stuff. I said, of the director, I think Possessor, I thought, kind of flowed a bit better compared to this. And... uh yeah, at the end of the day, I just wasn't bait on it. This wasn't for me. Interesting aspects make it more tolerable compared to other movies I've seen this year, but it should have gone either deeper, should have gone more intricate, should have gone more... I think... It took what could be an interesting idea and made a much less interesting movie than it could have been. That's just the way I looked at it. Maybe I'm alone in that. But with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.